All right, well, good morning, everybody. This is day two of the weight cutting process. Um, six days out now from weigh-ins and seven days out uh, from competition day. Um, this is my second day of water loading. I'm uh, what I like to do is I like to set a I like to set a timer. It goes off every 15 minutes, you know, or depending on how long I'm up that day. Um, usually right now I'm going for about a hundred. I'm going for three of these. I drink three of these. Each one's 90 ounces. And so I take, I divide how many hours I'm going to be up um, by the total number of ounces. And then uh, I figure that out. And that has me drinking about five ounces every 15 minutes. Which doesn't sound like much, but it starts to add up. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and cover a couple things. Um, when preparing for your water load, um, and your, you know, your water cut, when you prepare for your water load, um, what you're doing when you're cutting water weight is you're manipulating, you're manipulating your body's hormones and the, the feedback loop. Your body wants to maintain homeostasis. It wants a certain amount of sodium. It wants a certain amount of water and other electrolytes and it will hold or release hormones depending on what it needs if you're not drinking much water and your body needs more water and your blood pressure starts to drop a little bit and your uh, blood volume starts to drop a little bit because you're not getting enough water it will start to release antidiuretic hormone or uh, vasopressin which causes your body to exactly what it says, anti-diuretic hormone. It causes your kidneys to stop expelling water from your body. If you're losing too much sodium and your body uh, and your body um, wants so needs sodium because uh, sodium is incredibly important for your bodily functions, your body will start to release aldosterone. That's why when people, aldosterone is actually, um, its purpose is to actually control, uh, control, it controls blood pressure. So that's why a lot of people that are on blood pressure medication, they get a diuretic, which flushes water from your body, which makes the, which makes your problem even worse at, over time. They also give them, it's called an ACE inhibitor and, uh, your body releases, it's called ACE can't remember the exact names of the other, of the process, but it gets released and turned into aldosterone, which tells your kidneys to, to stop expelling sodium and to hold sodium. So what you're doing over this process is fooling your body. Hey, bud. Hi. What you doing? Good. I'm Hi. Batman. You are Batman, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, good morning. Say hi there. Hi. Say hi. Hi. We're making a video. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Is that cool? Okay, I'll be out there in a minute, okay? Okay. It has to be different with your hair. Yeah, it does, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you go ahead. Ooh. Shut the door. Go and shut the door. And so, <laughs> before you actually start the process of your water load, every, every, a lot of people think that the water load is the is the first step of your weight cut. Um, it actually isn't. Your first step is actually getting your body into a level of homeostasis. So about four weeks out, what would four weeks out from your water load? So about five weeks and a couple days out from your weigh-in day, you want to start putting your body into homeostasis. You want to start drinking the same amount of water every day and you want to start taking in the same amount of sodium. Because if 
leading up to your water load, your water intakes all over the place and your sodium intakes all over the place, your body's not going to know what the hell to do. So that's your, that's actually your second step of your water cutting process. Your first step being dropping the body fat and getting to a good body fat before your water cut, which I covered in the first part of the video. <clears throat> and so over the past four weeks, I've been taking in about two jugs of water. So about 180 ounces of water, um, which is a lot, but I sweat all day at work. Um, I'm losing water all day. Um, and so I require a little bit more water. Um, and I've been taking in about 3000 milligrams of sodium a day, but that is also because I do a modified ketogenic diet. So I don't take in carbohydrates, which means my body doesn't have glycogen, which means my body doesn't hold water or minerals. So you got to give it a little bit more. So as of this morning, I'm weighing in. at 191.3. I've got my shorts on, so I know that that my scale, how much my, get out of the way. So I know how much I weigh, so there we go. And I am not so sure this scale is accurate because according to this scale, I have 19% body fat. So, well, I don't think that's totally accurate. I'm not the leanest person in the world, but I'm pretty sure I'm not 19%. <sighs> Anyways, I digress. So that's step two of your water cutter of your uh, water cut process. 